Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. I'm your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 16. Now, I know I said I was going to be time-skipping up to Aya's room, but when I looked at the map, I realized it was probably a better idea for me to clear out the uh, bathroom first and room number three, you know, do that before I head back up to my room. As well as going upstairs, that's not upstairs. As well as going back upstairs and clearing out the top room and that half of the balcony. So, backwards we go. It's good for us. A little backtracking of a hurdy one. And it's only going to give us more rewards. I also, as you can see here, I took the opportunity to uh, reorganize my attachments because I didn't like them. So, Ringer Solution, MP Boost 2, a Cola, and a Recovery 2. Then they, all the other items that are used as attachments. That way I don't accidentally, you know, click on one of them and use them and be all like, fuck, I just wasted a precious item. No, no, up, up, go up the stairs. What do we got? <clears throat> you can't see them so well, but it's the, uh, it's the brain sucklers. Come on. There we go. No. That's not how this is gonna stop it. <sighs> so I got unnecessarily injured. That was nice. That was nice. Okay. So I'm betting I'm either gonna run into scavengers or an odd stranger. Maybe a mix of both. I don't know. For the love of God, Aya, go through the door. Damn. That was easy enough. I'm just gonna shock him. Oh, I can't shock him through the wall. I can't be pro like Kyle was and just use the pike through the corner. Well, that was easy enough. Take a quick drink here. Now we just go back downstairs. Provided Aya decides she actually wants to go down the stairs. Oh, good. I can't help but wonder why there's a gate there, though. I mean, at the top of the stairs, of all places. Oh, hell. Now, you... And now... They're all dead! Ha <laughs> ha! And only 50 EXP. <sighs> so cheap. It's okay. I gotta earn my monies. And I'm alright with that. You know, I just had a thought. I probably shouldn't have deleted Cam Camtasia. I mean, I might have not... Bleh, I might not have been able to use it as recording software, but I probably could have used it as editing. Where am I going? Can't go that way. And it's completely gone. I mean, I deleted it all, and now I just feel really stupid. Well. Easy. Didn't think I'd run into any more blood sucklers, to be honest. I mean, I'm not complaining. Now we can go back to Aya's room. We can continue our long and arduous journey.
Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. I did not know I could activate the jukebox at any time after this. Of course, I don't know if it'll stay on while we're there or not. Or while we're not there. Eh, doesn't matter. You know, I just realized I shouldn't have even bothered reorganizing my items like that because I'm going to be taking them off in a moment anyways. Wait. How many spaces do I have left? Not enough. Alright, tactical vest. Put it on. Let me go ahead and grab these two belt pouches. Now we use them. Beautiful. Grab the next one. And then we're going to move the PAS GT armor, which has been very, very helpful this entire time through. I'm going to put it over there. Then I'm going to use the last belt pouch, because this armor is going to see me through probably till the end of the game. Now, let's try this again. Put the GPS here. I don't know why I always put it first. I don't know why. Just, just work with me on that. All right, lipstick. I want that at the very, 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 very bottom. <gasps> Excuse me. <clears throat> then that. Then that. Then that. Now healing items. Ringer solution. I want you here. And then I want cola here. Then an MP boost to here. Recovery 2, there, and that still leaves me one free slot for a healing item of my choice. Or I could do this. That way I can manually reload the rifle whenever I want to. Neat, orderly, and just right. So now we have a considerably larger pool of HP. 180, wow. Can I heal anymore? No, I can't. So before we move on, I'm actually going to take the opportunity to try and level something up, maybe? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and level up. Oh, folks. Can I level that up? You're in for a treat. Because once I finish leveling this up, it improves our metabolism, speeds up production of white blood cells to counter toxins, effective but still requires time. Or so it says. We upgrade it two things will happen. One, it'll upgrade, and two, we unlock the third water ability, Life Drain. Oh my god. Advanced Metabolism heightens metabolic rate to lightning speed, instantly detects, neutralizes, and eliminates toxins. Nice. This is Life Drain. Indirectly controls mitochondria in adjacent organisms, using them to generate an electrical current to boost healing. So basically, it sucks the life energy out of the enemy and lets us use it to heal ourselves. But it costs a lot of MP. Not only that, it has a huge active time penalty. Still though, once we start upgrading it, it will be so worth the effort. So worth the effort. Now, let's go clear out the loft. It is just a good and amazing ability, and I love it so much. I think it is probably my favorite ability in the whole game. I don't want to do this. I think a little fire to clear those two. Anyone else? I 
Hey, you know what? Have some fun. Oh, countered that shit. Nice. Oh, and we also have a much larger pool of MP to pull from, which is, oh, so much better, because if I remember correctly, the PASGT vest, while useful, gave us absolutely no MP boost whatsoever. Whereas this one actually gives us, what, 10, 20? I forget. Oh, there we go. 10. Plus 50 HP. And quick fire. I don't think she raises her gun any faster. I don't know. Maybe it just shortens the time between shots. I'm not sure. But whatever it is, it's useful. Dot enjoys having it. All right, now let's go and s blah, 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 blah. let's go do the other thing we came to Dryfield to do, which is to check on Mr. Douglas. Given that Flint isn't flipping his shit, I think it's safe to say that Mr. Douglas is at least alive. No, oh, get around there. There you go. I seriously wouldn't mind a table like that. That's just an awesome-looking table. It's simple, but I, I just like it. <clears throat> now the thing to note is that now that the truck is gone, the enemy can come at you from more angles. Kind of annoying. Come on, bro. Come and get me. By the way, I have combustion level 2. Just thought I'd let you know. Are there enemies out there? There might be an ambush. I don't think there is, but... You know, better safe than sorry, right? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of zebra stalkers popped up. No? Alright then. Mr. Douglas! There he is, alive and well. Where's Flint? Where's the puppy? Oh, you know, I, he's probably wandering around town somewhere. He's fine. Oh, I nearly forgot to mention, when I made my last save, uh, we found out that Pierce had left work apparently having a, quote, stomach ache. And we could have tried to get some information about the shelter, so I'll see if I can get that. Fucking right. So what did you get, Mr. Douglas? Not much in the way of items. All this stuff is still available. So that's nice to know. A new suit of armor, the EOD Vest. This is one of two pieces of armor in the game that has the ability to resist impact. And that is a nice boost to HP. Still though, I like armor that gives me uh, HP recovery as opposed to MP recovery. Plus that doesn't even give me an MP boost. Still, it's a pretty nice piece of armor. As far as ammunition, he now has Hydro Rounds for sale. Now, I'm going to be honest. I can get free Hydro Rounds at the shelter, so I really don't need those. Plus, I don't have a 9mm weapon. In fact, I don't even know why I have those 50 Spartan Rounds. I think I'm just going to save them up for something. I don't know. <clears throat> he also has Firefly Shells for sale. Now, I don't remember if they are for sale at the shelter or not, but I want to hold off on buying them. And there's a reason. I'm going to hold off on buying rifle rounds. I have enough that I could uh, very easily get more back at the shelter. I can wait. Uh, let's go ahead and refill the hammer, though. But this is why we came. The meat of it. He has the MP5A5. Oh, yes. Nice little toy. You remember this. It's a, it's a good weapon. And then there's this monster. The AS-12 Shotgun, a 12-gauge, drum-fed, 20-round capacity shotgun. In real life, this is a semi-automatic weapon, which means it fires as fast as you can pull the trigger. On the other hand, though, since this is an RPG, we cannot fire it that fast, but still, this, loaded with R-slug rounds, what enemies? 
Unfortunately, I do not have any R slug rounds available. Otherwise, I would buy it. That, and it is a whopping 12,000 DP, and I am just shy. However, there is something else I do want to get. Here we have the pike, that little flamethrower that Kyle was using. It's not bad. It's okay. This. This is what I came back for. The M203 40mm grenade launcher attachment. With this, I can use... Oh man, it's gonna be good. Thanks to this, I can save a slot. I no longer need to switch to another weapon, like the grenade pistol, to fire grenades. I could just reach down and tap R2. So, if I do buy the... I am gonna get the AS-12, okay? There is no getting around that. I am buying the AS-12, okay? It will be bought, and it will be amazing. I just can't afford it right now, and I really want to get a hold of some more R-Slug rounds before I start using it. So if I do end up coming back to Dryfield, it will be just to come back here and buy this from him. Oh, you tell that to the enemy, sir. You tell that to the enemy. And so now... Yes. And I still get to keep my hammer. So, I'm actually gonna... Do I want to buy some more grenades around? Hell yes, I do. Alright, how much is it gonna cost me to buy some more? Oh, uh, you know what? We're just gonna buy four extra. That'll leave, round me off at about 10,000. That's nice. I think this makes the gun a little bit heavier, and it might change the sound of the gun, too. Let's see if I can get any information while I'm here. Nope, I missed my chance to get information about the shelter, so that might have been a game changer. I don't know. However, I am going to be doing multiple runs of this game anyway, so there's going to be every opportunity for me to, uh, to show you more. <sighs> you know, I really, really do want to get as much EXP and BP as I possibly can, but I really, really don't want to go back into that back alley anymore. I really don't. I mean, I might. I might on another trip back, like, uh, when I come back for the AS-12 shotgun, I might do it, but I'm thinking I'm only going to clear the underpass since that's in along the way. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Oh, no, wait, I don't. I can completely skip the underpass in the cellar. I'm not gonna, because I don't mind fighting in there, and I, Papa needs to test out his new grenade launcher anyway. Hmm. I just realized something. I... I need to find a place to, uh... Hmm... I gotta make it back to my room, or the car, damn it. Because I have those Spartan rounds, well, you know what, it's wasteful, but I don't care. I'm dropping the Spartan rounds. That leaves me with 17 slots, and if I can, I'm gonna try and find, I'm gonna wait till I get back to the shelter so I can put the hammer away. I'll just put it in one of the boxes, because I know there's one I can use. So we're actually gonna go back to the shelter, folks. We're going to go back, and we're going to kill us some a and mcs And find out what's going on. Also, I should note from this point, if I had elected to stay at the shelter instead of returning to Dryfield, Kyle would have stayed with us for a while. Oh, it looks like some more enemies cropped up while I wasn't looking. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Also, we still need to go upstairs and find that creature that tried to kill us. And kind of, you know, clear out the cavern and the gorge and, and all that good stuff. Hey, did I leave anything in the truck? We don't find out. Which way do I need to go? Uh, looks like forward, maybe? I think? Yeah, I have to go forward so I can activate the elevator and get out of here.
It's been a while since I've been through here. All right, Shelter, give me what you got, because I am loaded for bear. All right, children. This is a new enemy. This is a moss back. Yep, the sound of the gun changed. Moss backs are just like fruits. No, no, no. Turn. Aim, 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 aim. There you go. Now, let me reload everything. Oh! Okay, so apparently I cannot use one of these by accident during combat. I was mistaken. A Mossback Boys and Girls is just like a brute, except that he has the ability to actually spit poison at us. I don't want to go wasteful on the grenade, so I need to be careful. I've only got so many. He says, and then he uses a grenade anyways. Oh, that was worth a lot. Yay! Oh wait, I'm thinking I need to reload. Sorry, I've been playing, um, well, Mass Effect 3, like I said, and Square is reload. Herbal Derpal. More enemies? No, this was, this area is clear. And I love my M203. It makes me so happy. That was a terrible sing-song voice, and I apologize. Ugh. Desert chasers. Those are, those are mad chasers. Hey, you like fire? Yeah, I didn't think so. Why waste ammo? I have a rechargeable source, which is not getting recharged very much. Cheap bastards. <laughs> uh, so we make it back. Alright. Is there anything in the next room? No, there's not. Activate. Where do we want to go first? Well, we can't get, we can go through the breathing room, but that locked door there, we can't get through until we get a card. And I'm thinking, if I'm thinking what I'm thinking I'm thinking, then that thing might just be who I think it is. And he just might have what I need, so I gotta go hunt him down. So here is my plan, folks. My strato -G. I'm going to head back up to the first floor, that way I can put down that item. And I'm going to cut down to the elevator hall. I mean, I'll clear out the sleeping quarters and the storeroom. Then I'm going to turn around, go back, down through the elevator hall, because I want to go back up to the mines and the west mines and all that good stuff, so I can get back to the truck. So to the first floor we go. Plus, I know that encountering that creature will probably trigger another hot zone. Is this a hot zone? Oh, I'm in the elevator hall. Purple Durple. So then I could probably... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I got it. I'll go through the elevator hall. I'll go north, drop off the, the, the hammer, then come back. That's what I'll do. Maybe. Why have I not been ambushed yet? There we go. Well, don't you just feel like a special little boy? It's not working out for you guys. Well, maybe you.
things. Oh wow, they're worth a lot of EXP. At least I think it would trigger a hot zone, I'm not sure. Really? Yeah, I really need to stop wasting those grenades. <laughs> I should save them for, I don't know, maybe a boss or something. Like a smart person would. Where are you? Eh, you know what? Burn. Just burn and be done with it. Make my life easier. <sighs> All right, I want to have some buckshot and a whole lot of hydra rounds. Damn. Well, the only thing I'm dropping off is the hammer. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, I might as well drop the firefly rounds off. There. I am sort of torn. I kind of want to take the D229, but I kind of don't. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it... No, no. It's okay. I forgot, there's that little miner's shack thing where there's a save point. Yeah, I don't want to be disinfected either, especially not after the last time. So yeah, I could still make my way back down to the caverns and all that good stuff. It's gonna be dark as hell. But that's half the fun! Uh, I remember seeing something over here, just a, a random hall of enemies. Shit. Most people who go through that room make the mistake of killing the Brute first. If you kill the Brute first, you'll have to end up fighting those two turrets while they're aimed squarely at you. Kill the turrets first while they're aimed at the Brute. THEN kill the Brute. Because that shit pins him to the floor and he's not going nowhere. <laughs> Again, I need to stop wasting the nades. It's just very easy to say, eh, I got a few more, it's fine. Do I end up finding anything else in here? I might. At some point, I might end up having to fight my way through the secret passage again. I don't know. I kind of hope not, actually. I didn't like it the first time. Oh, the fires are still burning. Well, that's nice. Alright, I know the game says this is a hot zone. There's something in here. Are you fucking with me, game? There we go. I know what it was. If I had turned to the right and gone straight, that would have been the fastest route 
to getting out of here, and I would have run into it sooner, as opposed to going all the way around like I did. Walk into there. Just walk. Damn it! Hit me. Hit me! Damn it, I stop focusing on. There you go. No, no. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, damn, no. Can I? I do not like fighting them. I seems to have the ability to only be able to lock onto two targets at a time. I don't know why. It's dumb and stupid and it makes me angry. So it is here where we will stop. I will not save it with that. Or that. Wait. Actually, yeah. Sterilization room, that's where we want to... That's where we want to save. Alright, folks. Next time, we will clean up the mines, see if I left any goodies in Mr. Douglas's truck, and then we will get back to hunting down that creature that nearly got us eaten and incinerated. Until next time.